Hi everyone, welcome to the video. Um, just like to talk you through uh, this VW Transporter T6.1. Um, it is a um, 2 litre 150 PS uh, in copper bronze. Uh, quite like the colour, wasn't sure about it at first, but um, it's grown on me a little bit. But I just want to show you my, my journey through uh, van life really. Um, this van uh, is on loan to me because I bought something exciting it's coming quite soon which I thought I'd take you all on for the journey um, it, um, it's gonna be uh, a couple of months yet it's still in build but um, a couple of exciting things to come um, so so this is a, a t6.1 um, it has uh, it's a high line it's got all the usual stuff sorry about the mess it's got lots and lots of uh, gadgets in here not used not um, I'm not used to half as much of the stuff in here. Um, the one thing I hate is these finger marks. Your finger marks everywhere. Um, but it's great, it's a great system. I love it so much. Um, it's quite basic, um, probably a lot of negatives on this video, but um, it's, a, it's a true comparison site. Um, I'm, this is just a day in the life, really. Um, it's definitely a better feel. Than the existing T6, um, I'm not too much experience in it, but I'm soon will be. Um, it's basically um, the top high rated uh, um, system where it's got everything on there, everything you ever want on here. It's got all sorts of bits. Um, probably not the best description video, but um, this is my first, so please bear with me. Um, I've uh, done roughly 2000 miles in this. Uh, since I picked it up, been on various holidays. Um, it's got uh, the auto box, which is great. The DSG, I uh, use these DSGs quite a bit in other cars, the Audis and things, but it's definitely, definitely my preferable of um, boxes. I'll just take you around here. So, um, so the one thing I love about this is because uh, my kids just crawl over everything, is that you come in here, you press the doors auto doors are absolutely brilliant and the kids climb in here they can have a, so much fun in here um, and it's just basically a crew van so we can go away as a family we can do a lot of camping um, a lot of trips away so we just uh, load everything in here and just do whatever we want with it really um, don't know if I mentioned it's uh, colour is copper bronze um, this is a short wheel base model um, and this is basically how it rolls off the production line. It's it's quite bare metal. Um, the finish is it's quite protective, um, but I think they could put a little more effort in here um, because you'd be I think these retail at about sort of fifty grand. Um, so if I bought this for fifty grand, I'd be wanting to know um, where the rest of it's been spent because really. I know these are meant for commercial use, but you see, these have already been scraped a little from, from bikes and things that I've had in here, which is a uh, great disappointment. Um, the actual van that I'm getting, um, all this is gonna be covered. Um, the floor's gonna be covered. Um, it's gonna have a bulkhead in the back here, so just to separate things. Um, I'm mostly gonna be using this for work. Uh, so it's gonna have my tools in it sort of day to day, but um, it's gonna have, um, I'm going to try and keep it neat so at least when we go away at weekends we can always uh, push it to one side and get all the camping stuff in here the bikes or whatever they want to do now i love these electric doors uh, it's so easy to use push it it goes down i have had a few problems with this uh, first problem being uh, my boys are six years old uh, twins and they love anything it's got a bit of a gadget to it, a bit like the daddy really, I'm, I'm the same. So the, this was parked up against the house the other day, uh, the boys had the keys, and if you press the button on the key, the door will, the boot will open. Let's fold this down, it will open. And my boy was standing at the back and it trapped him against the house. Um, but it did stop, it wasn't uh, It wasn't all drastic, he's still, still alive now. Um, so if I hold this, will we'll go back up and it will stay in position so um, it is it's it wasn't it, so it wasn't disastrous but, 
cause a little problem. And you do need quite a lot of space behind you um, when you when you open this. So what's that? That's probably so about two meters distance you need behind you. Um, good in one respect. So I'm going to use this to my advantage. So when my van's got all my kit in it, I'm going to um, have it reversed up against a tree or um, so, so the back can't be open. Um, and as I say, there will be a ply lining or the VW standard um, lining that'll be in the back here to stop people getting in the back. And I'm also going to get the upgraded alarm fitted as well. It's an aftermarket thing. I think Vodafone do it um, where they um, where they tap into your old system and they'll put a um, just some sensors in the back here. So this is also alarmed. Um, I love the way that um, it's very, very minimalistic. Um, these seats um, can come forward. I just, I just love how simple it is. So if you want these seats forward, they come up. They also come out as well. Um, just taking me a few occasions. Um, One-handed, it might be quite difficult. But um, yeah, they fold down, they come out. We actually, because um, this is a short wheel base model, um, I'm actually getting the long wheel base model so it will give me a bit more space but when I've got a bike in here it uh, it does encroach about there so I do need to move the seat I can take the wheel off but it's just me being lazy I prefer to take a seat out and take um, four tires off a off a bike um, this uh, you, can, you can also get an option where you get a um, carpet in cab which I think will be better because the marks um, these, this was washed earlier today we've just been out for a walk um, and you see our oh, muddy footprints are still in here but um, what a great van this is it's really really good um, and um, uh, like I say I've got a, a few things coming up um, that I'm quite excited about and I thought um, how will I document this um, I thought let's let's do a YouTube channel let's let's get it on YouTube for you guys to see this isn't a look at me videos this is basically day in the life of um, I'm an electrician by trade um, I travel a lot for my work um, all across the country um, and I just thought I'd invest a little bit of money in uh, a vehicle and this is me really so I bought a vehicle from uh, Leighton Vans uh, where they get um, a standard vehicle they will do anything you want to they've been very good so far uh, they are absolutely stacked out at the minute and they've been very very helpful by lending me this they've not actually put anything onto this this is purely this is purchased by them and given to me uh, they've not done anything to it but they've been very accommodating and uh, please follow them and they, they do a lot of videos on YouTube uh, this is going back to them actually tomorrow so this is why this video is probably a bit rushed and they're going to give me a t6 not the t6.1 uh, just a normal t6 and that's going to be kitted out with all their stuff um, they're going to be um, uh, there's going to be lots of things that uh, i'm excited about um, seeing and how how the t6.1 and how the t6 um, compare but um I'm quite excited about that tomorrow. So I'll take you along for the journey. I just thought I'd film this quickly. Um, I've got lots to do uh, today. So this is purely, purely a quick video. We've just been on a walk this morning. So this is me now just uh, filming something quickly just to get to you guys. Um, as I say, this is my first video. Um, I've got uh, I've got lots and lots of things coming up. Um, projects that I'm excited about um, showing people. Uh, but this is my first sort of... Um, dipping my toe in the, the world of YouTube really a um, bit more about the van this uh, model um, the way it's different for the new ones I've got this uh, thing here transporter uh, which I think looks great um, the wheels um, wouldn't be my first choice but I think it's the best for the VW range um, the lights um, are different to the, the, the grill's a bit different I'm hearing that these the steering's different as well. They've got um, electronic steering rather than the normal hydraulic. Um, it's very easy to drive. Um, it's been an absolutely great van. And so we've been um, hundreds of miles, thousands of miles, uh, uh, two holidays with this. It's been fantastic. Um, problems that I do have with it is uh, you underestimate how high it is. 
so it, um, it is uh, 1.9 so most car parks are about two meters but they're, they're sort of two meter marks aren't necessarily two meters and it's a bit tight to get in um, it's a great it's a lovely van I uh, probably said that too many times now so uh, bear with me um, I um, the van I'm gonna get is a uh, silver van so Imodium grey I think it is um, Leighton vans um, do lots to it so basically they put new wheels on it they put um, sidebars front splitter uh, rear splitter um, they do a lot to it uh, the best thing I think uh, they do is their upholstery their upholstery work is so good um, you can have whatever stitches you want diamond stitch honeycomb stitch I think it's Bentley leather they refer to which I think is crazy that um, the VW have got Bentley leather in but anyway that's that's another thing but it's great what they do to vans I'm um, excited to uh, be part of um, their product really um, um, I've seen Leighton Vans a lot on YouTube um, I've watched all their videos and I'm quite excited about um, coming into the world of a VW van really they um, they start uh, um, from about 45,000 um, for the for the for the base models, and uh, all their vans are usually sort of highline uh, highline models, um, and they and they kit it up basically to sportline um, standard. Um, standard has been uh, not performance, that, which they can alter performance, but they don't from standard alter the performance. Um, they mostly look at the cosmetics and look at a van, what people use it for, and make it better, which I think the VWs are kitted out for. They give you a standard van. As you can see by um, the, wall, the the ceilings, the the walls, um, it's not great. I'd be disappointed if I bought this. It's um, it's quite it's quite hollowy and echoey. Um, they they put all uh, like a sound deadening in the walls. Um, they yeah they they pretty much do everything really. Um, what I don't like about this van is um, my boys constantly say, oh, can I open the back windows, can I open the back windows? To do that, I can't get into doing it from here. I can't, so we actually physically have to get into the vehicle and then uh, open the windows and then close the windows from inside the vehicle. It's just a bit of a naff um, way to get into them. And they're actually quite difficult. If you look, so if I come in here, I'll close this. Um, third world problem I know but um, it's yeah you pull this over and it's just it's, it's a bit clanky and I think they probably could do something better um, especially what, what technology is on the market at the minute um, as you can tell it's all quite van like inside which it's a commercial vehicle so um, you can see why you do that but I think there's a new area of vehicles now that people want a van but they also want the luxury of having a car a car type um, dashboard car type um, feel to it really which I think VW have mastered by looking at what's on the range um, I was uh, looking at various vehicles uh, one of them being the Ford um, Ford Transit Custom um, I was sort of looking all sorts for them I think they have got the interior right I think Ford have got the interior right um, but there's just something lacking about the Ford. I think it's still, um, still quite, still quite basic. But with VW, I think you're buying into a brand where it's got uh, sustainability. It's not going to go. It's not going to get dated that quickly. It's always going to have a resale value. And I love the VW love that you get out there. Uh, basically, driving along, uh, all these other VW owners was waving at us and saying hello. Uh, we just couldn't believe. Um, can't believe how much love we got and uh, we love being part of it really uh, we were down in devon about three weeks ago and this van got so much love people were asking about it and seeing now oh, what am i going to do to it and really felt part of the community which is fantastic um i'm gonna leave it there guys this is purely my first video and it's very very basic and i'm going to be probably in the comments i'm going to be slammed by how basic this is but as i say this is just a a real life video that I'm just just getting out there guys uh, I'm gonna try and my finger at editing so um, yeah just bear with me really guys uh, this is fantastic uh, thanks for watching um, like subscribe and uh, wait for the next one okay see you later guys bye